Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The granddaughter of an 84-year-old Manchester woman has reportedly confessed to her murder. The body of the elderly woman was found in her chicken coop in the South Manchester community of Smithfield near Cross Keys on Monday. A 42-year-old data entry clerk has been arrested and charged after three pounds of cocaine with an estimated street value of 68,000 US dollars was seized at the Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James. Stacey Ann Smith of Sign Irwin in Montego Bay, St. James has been arrested and charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine, and attempting to export cocaine. The Health Ministry is to undertake a mass vaccination blitz this Saturday, targeting people 75 years and older. Vaccines will be administered at the National Arena in Kingston, the Montego Bay Convention Center in St. James, and the Grand Bahia Principe Hotel in Runaway Bay, St. Anne. There will be no carnival celebrations in Jamaica in April because of the COVID crisis. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says this is in the best interest of Jamaica and will help in the government's fight to preserve lives and livelihoods. In sports, two more members of the Reggae Boys delegation have tested positive for COVID-19 at a Thursday's international friendly against the United States in Austria. An England-based player is among those tested positive. In your currency trading today, it was costing $146.23 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $200.26, and the Canadian dollar for $118.44. In your weather forecast, on Wednesday, there will be isolated afternoon showers across hilly inland areas. It will be partly cloudy elsewhere. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.